of the most important things about reading is understanding what you are reading. Parents love seeing their kids engrossed in a book, but how do you know that they're truly understanding that book, especially when you've never read the book yourself? Let me give you three quick tips to check comprehension for children reading chapter books that you have not read. Tip number one, check in frequently. Ask questions such as, what's been going on in this book? And what do you think is going to happen next? Hey, Jonah. I see you just started this new book. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on so far? So, um, so far, um, it's about this boy named Donovan Curtis, and he, he, he goes to the school, and he's a really big troublemaker. He even broke his gym, the school gym. Wow. <laughs> and, um, and then now his dad received this letter for, to Donovan Curtis, and it's for him to go to this like special academy for really like genius kids that are like really good and very talented. It's important to ask these questions throughout the story. You may not be able to tell during the first check-in, but the follow-up conversations will really give you a lot of information. Wow, so what makes you think, why did he get this letter? What makes you think he got this letter? Um, I think it may be a mistake. Like, they actually were supposed to send it to someone else, but like, they just send it to a wrong person. Yeah, what, what do you think's gonna happen next? Um, I think he's gonna like flunk in the school. He's gonna get really bad grades and um, But maybe he has also a talent so he can fit in with others. All right, great. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm. All right, keep reading. Mm -hmm. Tip number two, make them prove it. Someone who truly understands a story should be able to state a specific example from the book when talking about it. So Jonah, last time we were talking about your book, you were kind of saying that even though Donovan wasn't doing so well in school in terms of his grades and his tests, um, that you felt he was bringing something else kind of to the school and to these other students. Um, can you tell me, you know, events in the book that, that made you think that? So, well, um, what, since Donovan came, um, he introduced to this, like, really, like, genius to the smartest kid in the school named Noah, and he introduced him to um, YouTube, and now, um, he doesn't always like study anymore. He also goes on YouTube. So he, he like changed their lives into like sort of like open their lives up like, to new things. Also, uh, um, he um, he gave the he gave um, Chloe. Chloe he didn't want Chloe didn't want to go to the school since he failed the retest anymore. And like he he just really like gave like the um all like most people in the story like a new way of like living and like a new like thing they can do wow yeah that, that, that's, that seems like a good theory that you have about that character there yeah. with some good support thanks mm -hmm. tip number three ask the experts lucky for you someone out there has read all of these books don't hesitate to visit a website for a more detailed synopsis than you would find on the back of a book. Here are some to get you started. Your interest is a vital part of your child's success. We hope this video will spark grand conversations. Thanks for watching.